Greetings from Istanbul Technical University. I'm Emir, the team lead of the IT Rover team. With our eight years of experience, we are ready for Anatolian Rover Challenge 2024. Here we are with our eighth generation rover, ITU AXA Rover. IT Rover team is established in 2016 by visionary undergraduate students from Istanbul Technical University. The team aims to create a base about space accelerations and rover science in Turkey. We are pioneer in this field since our establishment 2016 by advising and helping other organizations that desire to work in space robotics. We try our best to lead and represent Turkey in the international area. As IT Rover team, we are the only Turkish team that brought multiple international awards to our country. We compete in University Rover Challenge, European Rover Challenge and Anatolian Rover Challenge competitions. The team has Best Science System Award from University Rover Challenge 2018. Also, we have the Best Maintenance Test the best presentation test, the best third team, and the best second team awards from European Rover Challenge 2022 and 2023. We can't wait to add new achievements to our award museum with Anatolian Rover Challenge 2024. In ITU Rover Team, we set up a detailed team structure led by a team leader, who oversees 60 specialized sub teams and their organization, design, electronical, mechanical, software, and science. This structure allows us to incorporate a wide range of perspectives into our decision-making process, greatly enhancing the success of our project. To effectively manage our progress, we utilize Asana for planning our timelines and Trello for distributing tasks. These tools help us visualize our tasks and timelines clearly, enabling us to track progress dynamically and quickly adapt to any demands of the project. In terms of workspace, management for designing, building, and testing the rover, our approach is both methodical and hands-on. We take full advantage of our campus facilities to assemble and test the rover, running rigorous trials to mimic the conditions expected at the competition. This practical testing not only confirms that our rover works in theory, but also ensures its practical viability, allowing us to spot and resolve potential issues in real time. This year, we designed the rover's chassis from aluminum tubes, which eases the assembly parts and makes it more durable. The rover features a rocker suspension system with a differential rod to navigate obstacles and adapt to various terrains during competition missions. The movement of the rover is powered by brushless DC motors situated within the aluminum hubs of the wheels, providing protection against external factors. Also, TPU wheels with ABS rims, which we produce using 3D printing, increase driving performance on Mars and lunar terrain, while minimizing weight and providing sufficient resistance. To make sure the rover doesn't have difficulties during missions, the rover has a mass of 29 kg, length of 1.1 meter, wide of 1 meter including the wheels and height of 0.3 meter from the ground. 5.8 GHz communication modules are used for communication. ROS framework is used to gain effective control over all modules of the rover. Effective compression algorithms are employed to prevent bottlenecks in USB and communications. Our user-centered interface facilitates command execution, video feed display and scientific graph visualization. A state machine is integrated for rover control and status monitoring. The rover is able to detect architects from a long range using our new algorithm. Localization is accomplished by merging data from RTK GNSS and our custom GNSS model with IMU sensor data. Dual antennas are utilized to enhance rover heading. LiDAR sensor generates point cloud data for environmental mapping and obstacle avoidance cost map. Setup allows for precise control facilitated by a PID controller which can be fine-tuned using the incremental encoder integrated to the motor driver. Field-oriented control is employed to manage our BLDC motors. Feedback from 14-bit encoders are utilized for accurate feedback within the closed-loop control. Rush DC motors on the science system are controlled by a SCM32-based custom board. Motion control feedback is provided by encoders. Also, a custom STM-based gripper card is developed to control the gripper of the robotic arm. Powered by 42 volt lithium ion battery, Rover has a specially designed power distribution board that reduces 42 volt to various voltages as different values are needed. The driving system, controlled by a brushless motor driver, uses the KNFT bus communication protocol and a specially designed vehicle control card. There is also a button on the back of the Rover that will stop the Rover in case of an emergency and a LED indicator that reveals the rover's driving modes. Six-axis robot arm is powered by position and force-controlled custom servo mechanisms featuring brushless motors. To ensure the required torque, belt drive and custom cyclical gearboxes are used into the system. Constructed with a blend of carbon fiber and aluminum, the arm is solid and lightweight. 
System weighs 12 kg and has a maximum payload capacity of 5 kg. It extends vertically up to 1.1 meters. Horizontally, the robot arm can reach up to the 1 meter. Moreover, an end effector with flexible movement capabilities is designed to accommodate diverse tasks. Precise control is achieved through the utilization of the absolute encoders for feedback in our PID control loop. Motor driver communications are facilitated via CanFD bus. The robotic arm employs inverse kinematic solutions with an established framework such as ROS enabling control in both Cartesian and joint spaces. This versatility enables the arm to perform tasks such as manipulating knobs, pressing buttons, handling tools, and placing items in drawers effortlessly. USB cameras further enhance operation by simplifying the use of the arm gripper. Rigorous testing in real-world scenarios and simulation environments like gazebo ensures optimal functionality of the manipulator. To fulfill the assigned duties, we use a coiling system that also serves as a container. After the colder collects the soil samples, it fills itself with a cover that can rotate 180 degrees by using a spring system. This way, the cordial can also serve as a container, isolate itself from the external factors, and reach soil from 30 cm depth. The system occupies a volume of 4,950 cm cube and weighs around 5 kg. We also use a shovel mechanism with an elevated system that can descend parallel to the ground and collect the required samples. It prevents contamination by using four separate diggers on an elevated system. The collected soil is transferred to the separate containers. A chosen liquid is transferred onto the collected sample, provided by peristaltic pumps. The system occupies a volume of 8,457 cube and weighs around 3 kg. In order to carry the sample tube and insert it into the rocket, we use our 6-axis robotic arm that assists us during the missions. As a science sub-team, our soil analysis protocol involves a series of tests to assess various components within the sample. We utilize a Bedford test for protein detection. We apply hydrochloric acid to soil and measure the carbon dioxide released using a sensor for detecting carbonate. The presence of ATP is determined by dropping ATP region into soil. For aldehyde detection, distilled water is added to soil, followed by shift region. Also, we use glucose biosensor for detecting glucose. Our team employs a wide range of sensors to analyze both atmospheric and subsurface conditions crucial for habitability. Atmospheric sensors, temperature, pressure, and humidity provide important data for understanding the atmospheric dynamics necessary for sustaining life. Atmospheric spectral signatures on rocky exoplanets provide indications of surface habitability and even biosignature signals. Subsurface sensors, including those for temperature, humidity, and pH, enable the team to assess subsurface environments, which may offer protection from high surface conditions and harbor life-sustaining properties. Additionally, we utilize sensors like carbon dioxide, methane, ammonia, and nitrogen. We conduct these measurements in airtight containers to obtain more accurate results. Lastly, we use a sensor for detecting nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium levels in soil. To identify biosignatures, we use colorimetric regions that provide clues about their presence. UVV spectroscopy helps us analyze the concentration of these biosignatures by detecting changes in color, giving us valuable information. We employ a Raman spectrometer equipped with a 785 nanometer monochromatic light source. This spectrometer is specially designed for mineral detection. The interference of organic matter is reduced by using low energy light, while accurate analysis is ensured by advanced signal processing algorithms. Our primary objective is to utilize the Raman spectrometer for identifying high-risk mineral in our study region. We have identified fluvial features stretching from Milliposa, leading us to hypothesize that these features could potentially fed the mainstream, eventually fling jezero. We have correlated these features with water presence, and our literature reveals hints at a hydrothermal origin for one of the feeding sources. Furthermore, we posit that these feeding sources may have fostered essential conditions for microbial life as thought as jezero. Our plan involves landing in the perimeter of Thorocrater's rim to conduct tests on hypothesized hydrothermal water. At this point, our priority is to descend and examine the fluvial landforms in the region. Thanks to the ground station, wireless telemetry tracking of our rover is carried out. For example, real-time data that helps track the current status of the rover, such as current location, speed, battery level, sensor and LiDAR data is monitored. In addition, thanks to the custom-made joysticks and buttons on the ground station, the robotic arm, drive and science systems can be controlled with the desired precision and safety. In this way, ground station performs transceiver duties and offers a portable solution. Additionally, the ground station capabilities extend to providing robust support for mission planning and execution. Through its advanced telemetry systems, including a 5.8 GHz directional antenna, it not only tracks the rover's critical parameters in real time, but also facilitates precise navigation and course correction as needed. Its custom designed control interfaces offer operators the control necessary to maneuver the rover's complex system. 
In a sense, the ground station serves as the mission's command center, ensuring uninterrupted communication and control for the success of our exploration.